guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa. And as usual, there is immediately there is uh, police cars out there. I don't know what's going on. Um, listen, I live in New York. We gotta deal with these things. I'm trying to do this video for you guys, but at least to put a smile on my face. I hope nothing serious is happening out there. Um, and I also don't want you to think I live in this horrible neighborhood. It's just I'm close to um, a hospital, you know, and there's actually a fire department um, a couple blocks away. So we hear I'm in the literally dead in the middle of all that. So let them pass. Anyway, how is everyone out there today? Leave a comment below if you're having a good day. Let me know what you're doing while this is passing by. And I can talk. Oh, alright. That's a little better. Sorry about that. So, I am almost done with these. I did all the stencils. On a couple of them, I was thinking of adding a little, um, the, what is the folk art? Yes, the folk art, a uh, color shift, red flash. Just maybe add a little detail in some of them so they pop out a little more. And then I forgot I had this, um, it is red, obviously sparkly glitter foam paper. And it's actually really sticky. And I probably got it in one of my local um, like discount stores. And because I was going to use felt, and I was like, you know, I have this, and I think that um, will actually work better because it's self adhesive. And then also, I don't have to use like hot glue on felt, and that may not, oh, you know, I think that this may work better. So I'm almost done with these, and I want you to stick to the end of the video because I would want to announce. Um, the giveaway. I am actually going to give away all four of these, okay? And I'll get into the rules of simple, um, but I want to give you the dates and all that. And I also want to add uh, one more thing after the backing. So while you guys hopefully enter the giveaway, um, I actually won't be able to get what I need until the 25th and I'll explain why later. So anyway, let's get on here. And so today, yes, we are going to use some of my new Primal Flow acrylics. So what do we have here? And yeah, I'm also going to be using some of this, it's chunky unicorn glitter. That is just really pretty. I love these little packages. And believe me, a little goes a long way. I am just using it in one of the colors because I don't want all of it to be glitter, glitter, glitter. Um, so I just put it in the bubblegum pink. So this is really beautiful. I don't know if you can see how that sparkles. And my camera is going out of focus. What else is new? Let's see if you can see. There we go. You can see that. So I just put it in the bubblegum pink. So, in these three colors here, the bubblegum pink, the lime fizz, and the magenta, I used, because I was dying to use this, the uh, metallic pouring medium, okay? So in those three colors, we have the metallic pouring medium, and then in the pink we have the unicorn glitter, all right? Now this color here is called champagne, and I use their um, regular pouring medium in that. Now these you actually don't have to use pouring medium. I am just like trying out their products, not sponsored whatsoever. Um, I'm just trying everything out. I, I will try them out without any pouring medium. I'm sure they're just as good. Um, I'm just, you know, wanna, you know, me, I like to experiment. I already got my clubs ready. So uh, this color here has just the regular pouring medium. And yeah, so today I am thinking of doing a kiss pour with these beautiful colors. 
and I am really excited. So let's get started and I will be back in a minute. And remember, stay tuned because I'm going to announce the dates and the rules of the giveaway for my Lunar New Year giveaway. Okay, stay tuned. Just a moment 
I, I almost feel like I got swept away with the paints. I haven't felt that way in a very long time where I just wasn't here for the moment and I was just totally engrossed. Just these paints are just amazing. They're like capturing me. Um, the colors and the quality of them are so good that I didn't even have to torch it twice. <laughs> And since I've been using them, I have not had to really do too much torching. And, you know, they've pretty much dried perfectly. Like, really no bubbles, no cracks, nothing. And, yeah, I think that the paint, the mixture I made was a little... Um, a little too fluid so you know I'm gonna make a note to myself use a little bit less of the pouring medium uh, because it is really not necessary to uh, use so much and actually they're ready to go so um, you know sometimes I wonder why they actually make a pouring, pouring medium if you actually don't need it but you don't need a lot I guess I got too excited with the uh, metallic because I was just dying to try it I mean, just look at that. It's just so pretty and just beautiful. I am very, very happy with these paints. I can't wait to make more stuff. I'm going to um, do some pours over those beautiful um, uh, wood cut pieces. This is just beautiful. It's just very delicate, and I am in love. I'm in love. I don't see the unicorn sparkles that much. Uh, the sparkles. The, uh, the glitter, I don't like see it pop out that much, but I didn't use a lot. So it just wanted a little touch. Um, maybe I should add some after, but I'm going to leave this alone, and I am enjoying the moment. So that is that for this painting. I will show you how it dries tomorrow or the day after or whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll definitely show you how this dries. But it does dry a little more on the matte side. Um, it's not a very glossy paint when dried, but that's cool. Um, and again, uh, two things you should know. You have to shake the bottles very well before you use them and pour it. And it does have an odor. It's a little stronger than um, other paints I have used. That's that's it. And it's not negative. I mean, if you're sensitive to smell and odor, like chemical smell, you know, you can wear a mask. Um, I don't wear masks, but my area is very well ventilated always. So all my windows are open and it's like 30 degrees out and I'm good with that. So that is that. Okay. So... Let me come over here really quickly again, and I just want to announce that this is the official video. I will probably do an update video, and then you will probably uh, be able to comment on that video as well, okay? So, um, yeah, but for now, this is the first video, and all you have to do is be subscribed to me, okay? That's it, and put in the comment below, enter me. And I'm going to give all four away. I'm going to continue working on these a little bit. Uh, like I said, I may add a little detail with the red. It won't take me that much time. And add the backing to these. And then I had this really cool idea. I got these in Chinatown in New York City last year or two years ago. So these are mine. And I wouldn't give you guys anything old. Um, but okay and I had this they're so tiny and adorable and I was thinking about hot gluing uh, on the backs of them and they kind of hang down like that and I kind of tried it out yesterday to see how it looked and it really looks perfect um, so January 25th is as far as I know the official day of Lunar New Year starting Okay, and it starts off with a firecracker ceremony. It's not the parade. I was wrong in saying that, um, and I should have known better because I did know. I misspoke. So it's the firecracker ceremony, which I am going with at least one of my friends. And yeah, so I'm going to be picking up some of these because they have whole shops set up 
with lunar near decorations and these aren't really very expensive um, uh, but they're really adorable you can get they have like so many different types and kinds and they will have some for uh, this year you know I don't know if they have little rats on them or not but um, yeah so I'm gonna get um, some of those for myself and obviously to finish off this project so on the day of Lunar New Year starts, that's the 25th of January, so starting from today until then, you have time to enter. I am giving all four away, so your chances of winning are really big because, you know, I'm pretty a pretty small channel, and so far not a lot of people have entered my giveaways, which is fine, but I am so grateful to everyone in the past who has. I appreciate everyone and everyone, seriously, everyone's um, comments and watching my videos. You really don't have any idea like how, you know, amazing this has been for me. So this is my way of giving back and showing appreciation to you guys who consistently comment and interact with me and watch my videos. It means the world to me. And yeah, this has been, you know, a blast for me on a daily basis. And I try to update, you know, update, I try to upload, you know, almost every day, five to six times a week. So anyway, this will be an international uh, giveaway as well. These are really, really light, okay? Even with the paper and this little guy, these are like, I don't even think they're even an ounce. <laughs> I mean... So it's not going to be that heavy and it probably will not be that expensive to ship for me. I don't know if there's any customs involved. I don't know about that, um, but I'll find out at the post office. But honestly, I don't think it would cost me a tremendous amount of money to ship these internationally. So it will be an international giveaway. I will pay for shipping if there is customs involved and um you did win we will be in contact and we'll figure something out okay um you know maybe then if it's too much i'll give you a gift card you know we'll figure that out as it comes and see who wins okay so january 25th is the last day you can enter all right and then the 26th of january i will announce the winner in a video if i do an update video in between today and uh, the 25th you can also enter on that video as well and I will you know let you know during the video that you can comment on it so all you have to do is comment enter me and um, yeah and be subscribed that's it that is absolutely all and then whoever wins if I don't you know if it's someone new that wins uh, the giveaway um, you know, I'll, you'll just email me and I'll put my email, uh, you know, I'll put my email and I always put my email in the description box below anyway. And that is it. So I think, yeah. And then actually the parade is two weeks after on the, on the February 9th. But the firecracker ceremony is a lot of fun. It's a little less crowded, honestly. The parade is a little more jam-packed, but, um... The firecracker ceremony is actually really cool as well so I know that you guys will enjoy me vlogging that I will definitely be vlogging that hopefully I get to both um, events and I may go with my son to the parade um, and hopefully maybe he'll bring some friends who knows all right guys so that is it for today I have talked long enough I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.